Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat Wednesday video. I am so excited to be back filming these for you guys. I am starting off the morning with some coffee. This is just a Whidbey Island blend from a local coffee stand here, and I'm starting it off with this Khalifa pumpkin coconut cream and almond milk dairy-free creamer. This stuff is so delicious and I absolutely love it. And another thing that I've been liking to do before my workouts is getting in a pre-workout with food. So I've been doing some almonds, coconut chips, and dark chocolate chips. These are the Lily chocolate chips. And this has just been like a really excellent like fat and protein and like a little something sweet that I can have that I think really powers me up for my workouts. Oh my God, you guys, I am so excited. Okay, so we just had a new Starbucks open in my city on like this island that I live on. It's 25 minutes north of my house, but it's a drive-through and it's way closer than the other one. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name is Georgia. What can I get started for you? Hi, Georgia. Can I please do a grande cold brew um, with almond milk and sugar-free cinnamon dolce, please. Okay, so I had to get my daughter a cake pop for when she gets out of preschool today just because, like, I don't know, it's kind of become an unhealthy thing of ours. Um, sorry, I cannot, like, I don't have a place to, like, put my camera in. My dashboard is, like, all lumpy, so it's kind of weird how it's all set up. And then I have this weird little thing that doesn't do anything. Okay, so maybe if I put it right there. That Perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to a, another What I Eat Wednesday video. I have not filmed a What I Eat in a Day video in probably a month. It has been so long. I feel like, okay, it's probably been more close to three weeks, but it feels so incredibly long for me. I did take a hiatus from filming just because I was going through a struggle bus with my diet. After I had done the Whole30 diet, which by the way, only completed 24 days of that diet, and then I cheated. And I tried to restart it, but mentally I just was not there for it. So I decided that I was just going to scratch that. I'm gonna try again at the beginning of the year of 2021. I'm gonna try the Whole30 again when I'm in a better headspace. Um, but I figured from the 24 days that I was on the diet that dairy definitely hits my body wrong. So the whole reason why I wanted to do the Whole30 anyways was to figure out if I had any specific food sensitivities. And I had a pretty good idea that dairy was doing me wrong because on the keto diet, I do find that I bulk up on a lot of dairy products, cheese, heavy cream, butter, those kinds of things. And even if you have a dairy sensitivity, you can like some people can have butter and not cheese or some people can have cheese and not like butter It's like this whole thing with the casein So what I'm trying to do right now is just go as low dairy as possible So sometimes I'll still cook with butter Sometimes I'll have a little bit of cheese It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling but I definitely notice a difference when I'm not Having dairy. Dolce, so. I did have a coffee this morning before my workout, but <laughs> Mama has a headache so I'm gonna definitely be filling up on that caffeine and I'm also going to be chugging a ton of water today. So I'll catch you guys back at home because as soon as I get home, I am going to whip up uh, something for breakfast. Okay, so I had prepped these uh, breakfast sausage patties at the beginning of the week. Um, obviously, I didn't get any clips of that because I'm filming now, but I am going to have the recipe for these come across the screen, so make sure you pause it and take a screenshot of that. These are really delicious, like savory. They're a mix of ground chicken and ground pork sausage and a bunch of seasonings. They're really, really good. I've been having them like every day this week for breakfast, but I'm just gonna fry this up really quick in some oil and add some eggs and maybe some kind of veggie, I don't know. And I'll show you guys what I end up having. All right, so here's my breakfast. I just fried up that sausage patty there. I've got one scrambled egg and then I did just saute some uh, spinach and mushrooms. Actually, the, um, I used this Organic Girl Greens and this has red and green Swiss chard arugula and spinach and my baby's screaming because he's hungry so i'm gonna go eat this and share with him and i'll catch you guys at the next time i eat all right you guys so for dinner tonight i am prepping a crock pot roast this is literally just one of those pre-cooked roasts that you can get at your grocery store and all I did to prep it was literally take it out of the package and put it into my crock pot with the crock pot liner because you guys know I'm obsessed with my crock pot liners. Everybody who owns a crock pot should just be regularly using crock pot liners. It makes cleanup so much easier. But 
I digress. Anyways, you're gonna put it in there and then about an hour before the meat is all the way done, I'm probably going to add in a sauce of my choosing. I don't know whether or not I wanna do like all barbecue or some barbecue and that's why I just put it in there with no sauce, but I did put in some chicken broth and I am going to rotate it. But it's about to be lunchtime right now and I'm going to have to pick up my daughter from preschool in a second, so I'm going to make a quick salad and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. All right guys, so I just have a bed of greens here. This just has some of that Go Girl greens blend from earlier and a little bit of romaine. There's some cucumbers, some red bell pepper, some red onion in there, a little bit of carrots, some, a half of a hard boiled egg. And then I just have some chicken breast that I had cooked up um, a couple of days ago. It's just left over. It's just uh, seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of paprika, onion powder, you know, the works. And then I did top it with this Primal Kitchen Ranch avocado oil dressing. I got this stuff when I was on Whole30 and I absolutely love it. It's a dairy-free option and it's super, super good. Uh, so this is gonna be my lunch. I've got about 10 minutes to scarf this down, so hopefully I do that. Uh, before I've got to go and pick up my daughter. So yeah, gonna go and eat this. Hey guys, so the time right now is four o'clock. I just got home, I went and got my flu shot, which by the way, it didn't hurt this year, but now that I'm holding my camera up, I feel like it's getting a little sore. It's been about two hours now. Um, but I did pick up one of these Atkins peanut butter fudge crisp bars and they are the snack bars and this is super delicious i had it as a snack there's only five net carbs in this and 150 calories per bar which i thought was really really good um i like that it was nice and crispy and chocolatey and really good and i just had that in some water so i'm getting ready to prepare dinner right now time right now again is four o'clock so i am going to um, get this roast like shred it up a little bit and decide what it is I'm going to have with it tonight Okay, so for the seasonings you're gonna add a tablespoon of all that's right here So pepper paprika onion powder garlic powder chili powder and salt and we're just gonna take a tablespoon of that Add it all together as our seasoning if you're new here or if this is your first time watching my videos, hi and welcome. I would really appreciate if y'all went ahead and clicked that thumbs up button for me and also hit the subscribe if you're new here so that you don't miss any upcoming videos from me and random clips with my kids screaming in the background because that's just my life now, mom life. All right guys, so it's all nice and mixed up and incorporated in here and I'm going to try a bite. Mm. It's so good. That seasoning mix is delicious. You could honestly put your seasonings in there when you start, but I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do with this pork, so that's why I didn't add it in. Um, but it's got about, I don't know, 30 more minutes or so of cooking. I'm going to actually take half of it out so that it doesn't have any sauce on it and then I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce on all right so I've got these two sauces this is the primal kitchen classic barbecue sauce and then I've got a little bit of this G Hughes sugar-free honey barbecue sauce just because I have like a little bit left of each so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump them all in and that's gonna be my sauce for this meat I would definitely consider myself a risk taker, which is why I don't necessarily mind mixing different bar brands of barbecue sauce together. But if you do, I mean, please just go with whatever you like. So I picked this riced cauliflower up from Thrive Market. It is literally ready in 90 seconds and it's keto paleo grain free. Um, it feels kind of mushy, so I don't really know how it's going to work. I'm gonna do the um, skillet way. I'm just gonna put it into, um, a uh, medium pan with some water and some olive oil and cook it all the way through and then I'm also gonna add a few ingredients to kind of make it more of like a Mexican style. I'm gonna add like some tomatoes, some green onions and um, cilantro and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna have as a side dish with my uh, pulled pork. Also, I'm gonna be making this kind of like taco style. So I got these little street tacos. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those fried up on my pan with a little bit of oil. For my husband, I'm gonna make his with some cheese. And then for mine, I am gonna add a little bit of cheese on mine because y'all, it's a freaking pulled pork. Like I just can't imagine not having it. So that's why this is super low dairy. Um, probably gonna add a little bit of this queso cheese. We'll just see how I'm feeling in the moment if I wanna risk it or not. 
having my stomach hurt. I don't know. I'm still in the transition phase. Um, I'm going to do a little, dran uh, little drizzle of ranch for Taylor's and then a little drizzle of the Primal Kitchen Ranch again for mine. And he's going to use the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and I'm going to use the rest of the um, Primal Kitchen barbecue sauce. So that's what we got. So at first I thought I was just going to put the pulled pork on top of the cauliflower rice, but then I decided I wanted to make this into a really nice like Mexican kind of taco style dish. So I'm just chopping up some red onions, some red bell pepper. I'm also going to chop up some zucchini. I just basically took any kind of vegetable that I have in my fridge. I like to do this. This is a fun way for me to get in extra vegetables is to literally try and throw it into every dish possible. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute all of these in some olive oil on a hot skillet and I'm going to add my cauliflower rice. This just kind of gives it like a Mexican and inspired kind of rice dish which I really liked I went ahead and seasoned it with some Mexican spices some cumin some salt pepper it was just really tasty a little bit of paprika and chili powder as well and I liked this so I did make this with some cauliflower rice for me and then I used some Ben's rice just for Taylor and the kids because they are not keto and they do enjoy rice from time to time So I'm gonna take some of these low carb mission street tortillas and I'm going to be dipping them in the juices from the meat there and I'm just gonna fry those up and some hot olive oil as well to get a nice crisp on them. And of course my battery died as soon as I was putting the tacos together and I couldn't stop but all I did was I flipped these over, the tortillas over, put the cheese on top, the meat on top, did a drizzle of barbecue and ranch and did a little bit of this dried cilantro. If you had fresh cilantro, obviously that would be way better. And then I just flipped them over and they're nice. It's a nice and crunchy shell. This is Taylor's plate. I'm just gonna have one because I'm not super hungry and I'm gonna pair it with my um, my uh, uh, cauliflower rice and Taylor has regular rice. I just used the Ben's ready rice for his. I did the same exact method. It's like a mess in here right now. Don't judge me for how I cook. This is just how I am. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and eat this lovely meal. I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in one of these videos here. Bye.